EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. Just minutes off the Trans-Canada Highway, Banff Springs, the site for live third round coverage of the Canadian Championship. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay III and Iona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. Her advantage is a full four shots as she gets set to begin her round. tee shot it's in the fairway here to get this Saturday started now the approach shot here at the par four first generous green just a little bit uphill not minute really big green to hit into though This will be a five-foot putt here. Well done. That is in for a par here at the first. And this will remain a three-shot lead. Frank, it's always nice to begin a round with a little variety. We had a relatively short par four opening hole and now a par three to back it up. You can see why short iron play is going to be paramount today, Rich. Short iron into the first hole and a chance here to hit another short iron into a short par three. So you can get off to a very fast start. That's going to be on the putting surface, and a birdie look straight ahead. off for par here with the second and she's going to stay at 13 under well frank as we get to the third hole here a par five it feels to me like you need to be at a minimum one under through the first three holes or you're losing ground to the field you're exactly right chance here for birdie or eagle too this is one of those holes you can just wind it up and let it fly and you'll certainly get a good reward with a big tee shot
that will do just fine. Now, after the big drive, this a good distance here for a second to the par five. Two solid shots, gets close to this par five green and two. I know the ball's in the rough, but it's not too bad. With a good short game, perhaps birdie. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. And she'll move to 14 under par. Well, look at this hole, Frank. A par three, 192 yards. It is beautiful. It's called Devil's Cauldron. But with that lake, I think that should cool you down, not heat you up. Uh, just keep an eye on that drop of elevation. Uh, for every 10 yards, you should reduce it by a club. So it's going to play some 50, 60 feet downhill. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Okay, safely aboard. Oh, if that's one ball to the right, it's in. Instead, this one singes that left edge. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And she'll remain at minus 14. Well, again, Frank, we get that good mix of holes here. We've had a couple of par threes, a short par five, and that opening par four. Now at the fifth hole, 424-yard par four. The first bunker on the right, not really in play for the good players. Uh, just be a little cognizant of that one on the left side, depending on what club you want to hit off the tee. Um, ideally, that line is the third bunker, the one in the distance. That's a good line off the tee here. The wind's starting to push this one a little left. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Set now for the second shot, par four fifth. Just be aware of where the flag is. If it's cut in that front section, you definitely want to carry the front of the green. Um, the hole is a little more difficult when they start to push that flag in the back left. You can see it narrow up there. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. This is an 11-foot putt. Oh, 
yeah, that one online all the way. It's in for a birdie. And she'll move to 15 under for the tournament. Now at the sixth hole here at Banff Springs, it's a short par four, only 373 yards, and the short par four, Frank, all the rage in golf course architecture these days. A lot more strategy involved when uh, you've got a hole that you can nearly reach with a tee shot. It's how far back do you leave it, what sort of distance you want that second shot. All those things to compute. Uh, straightforward, a little bit uphill. And basically, it's what you want for your second shot. And that's going to wind up in a great spot. Left center of the fairway. Nothing wrong with that inside of five feet. Nicely done. This only about five feet for birdie. Ah, uh, yeah, well done. It's back to back birdies here on this front side. And she'll get it to 16 under par. Well, Frank, how about this hole? 602 yards of par five, although I, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. It's 602 yards these days for a long hitter. Um, what do you say? A, it's a drive in a seven that, That's a <laughs> mid-range par five. Well, yeah, two woods. Uh, the longer hitters will definitely get uh, at home there, especially in good conditions. But bunker down the left, avoid that, carry that, and then we can think about the second shot. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. I dare say a touch too aggressive, trying to fly it all the way and expect it to hold. That is very ambitious. Look what's happened.
Yeah, big explosion. Got it to stop quickly, and that will be a birdie opportunity coming up. That one rushed in. It is a birdie here at seven. And she'll move now to 17 under. Frank, you like this kind of design feature where you go from the longest hole in the course immediately to the shortest hole. Certainly, golf giveth and golf taketh away. Uh, this is just minimally uphill, just a couple of feet, but you can see from the overview the design of the green. When that flag's on the right, it's a little bit of a longer carry, so just be a little cognizant of that. You don't have to hit it directly at the flag. Okay, that one's dancing. Gonna have to take pretty much a full swing at this one with the putter because this one is into the hill and the hole is cut back. Get up. Get there. Oh, just short. But that is mission accomplished there. Very well done. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And that'll keep her at 17 under. Now to hole number nine, 501 yards. It's a par five. Yeah, we finished with the third par five on the front nine. Uh, you're just going to come through those... Uh, sort of shoot of marvelous trees that define this fairway. Just avoid the right side. Something down the left side is going to open up uh, the second shot. This one starting a hair right. Excellent second shot here at the par five. Frank, certainly a birdie is well within range. Well, from that distance, that second shot, I mean, that's inside the PGA Tour standard, really. Uh, two super shots, and you're right. Outside chance for three. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. Getting ready to start the back nine here at Banff Springs. And Frank, you better be ready on this 10th tee. This requires a good shot. Even though the hole looks like it bends towards the right, the best access, access to this hole is actually a little draw off that tee. Um, that's the direction of the green. So a nice high draw in here. That will not quite be able to stay on the green. It's just a foot or so off. Now this, her second into this par three.
So that's in for par to start this backside. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. So off the long par 3 tenth, we are at the 11th hole, 417 yard par 4, Frank. It looks like a straightaway par 4, Rich, but if anything, the hole actually bends to the left and you really want to follow that natural contour of that. Just sort of draw it off those bunkers on the right or just simply carry it over the ones on the left. But ideally down the left side, it avoids that pine tree that's further down. Wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this another fine tee shot. Frank, what do you want to do with this second shot here at the 11th? Just a scoring club again, Rich. This is a chance to get off to a good start on that uh, on the homeward nine. Um, anytime you get sort of eight iron down, you can virtually go straight at the flag because this green pitches back towards the player. That's a board, but a lot of green between ball and hole. Iona's down there. This for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. it there yeah well done that putt had potential for danger but that's pretty good so that rushed in for a par here at 11 and she'll remain at minus 19. Frank what are we looking at here at the par 412 442 yards players are really focused on that bunker down the left side. That's the one that has to be either laid up, which would be 286 yards off the tee, or sort of worked off. Um, this could very well be a three-wood off the tee. Just hit it straight at that left bunker. Nothing to fault there. Safely in the fairway. Perfect spot to play this second. Middle of the fairway. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Chance now for another birdie. You betcha, what a roll there. That is in for a birdie. And she'll move to an even 20 under par. 13th hole, par three, 225 yards and heavily bunkered around that green, Frank. It is, but that green gets narrower as the hole gets longer. Um, nothing wrong with hitting the ball sort of the middle part of the green here.
And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Just a bit, it stayed out wide, left of the hole. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. Back here at the par four, 14th, and we are ready to tee off 442 yard hole, Frank. It's called Wham Pump. Uh, my Canadian's not that good, so I don't know what that means, but the way I decipher it, another little dog leg to the right with bunkers all over the place. The sort of, in the, in the place where you'd like to hit the tee shot is exactly where that crop of, what is that, five bunkers down the left side. So you're gonna have to somehow squeeze it just right of that. Um, very awkward tee shot. Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Wasn't right down the middle, but it wasn't bad at all. Coming at this second shot from the right side of the fairway. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Okay, good putt, and a par here at 14. And her score is gonna stay right where it is. Now to the 15th tee, and Frank, this looks like a fun shot to hit. It won't play its full yardage because of that elevated tee, but uh, a good crank, a good one out here, we might see one of those 350, 360 plus yard drives. Uh-oh, that is slicing way to the left. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. She's got 142 yards left to the hole. The pin is stuck in the front right section of the green. Always heading a little bit right, but inside 10 feet, there's nothing wrong with that on this hole. Nah, missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown.
Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Moving on to number 16 now. It's a par four, 414 yards. And Frank, uh, what are we looking at here? It's another hole that'll favor a nice sort of high draw off the tee. It'll set up that second shot to a green that uh, has got several different levels on it. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Now to the second shot here at the 16th, and Frank, what's ahead? Uh, minimally uphill, but uh, it actually plays uphill. The reason why is because all that front section of the green uh, rolls back towards the player. So you've got to carry the ball all the way to the flag. A little unlucky there. That ball landed very close to the flag, but look how far it's gone on. This one going to require some pace back up the hill for birdie. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And her score is gonna stay right where it is. Just two holes left here at Banff Springs and Frank another par four. This one, uh, short, 374 yards. It is, it's, it's named Sasi, which is a tribute to the Indian tribes here in the First Nations of, uh, of Canada. So uh, just think about that when you're teeing it off here on, on what is not an overly difficult par four. And it would appear that that ball is into the bunker. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Now this for another birdie. That one just gonna sneak on by. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Well, Frank, this sets up for an exciting finish here at Banff Springs, a 578-yard par 5. It's just about a bunker and play for every length of tee shot here. So know exactly which one you can carry and exactly which one you cannot reach. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Oh, 
what a good shot that is. Home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. Now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. Yeah, that's well played. It's a birdie at 18. So, could tomorrow be the day for our featured golfer? Two wins on the Corn Ferry Tour already. A third? That's an automatic promotion to the PGA Tour.